In this video, you'll learn the must-know basics of how to use Tmux. Tmux is a terminal multiplexer. It allows you to manage multiple terminal sessions with a single terminal window, and you can easily switch between those multiple terminal sessions. Well, you might be thinking, hey, I can just open up multiple terminal windows or open up multiple tabs in my terminal application. So why would I ever need to use Tmux? Well, the power of Tmux is that you can detach or leave or exit Tmux while all those terminal sessions that are managed by Tmux are still running in the background. Then you can come back at a later time and reattach to those terminal sessions. If you work on remote systems, then Tmux can be a lifesaver. For example, you can log into a remote system, start Tmux, then start as many terminals as you need. If you lose your network connection, you won't lose the work in those terminals as they are still running on the server. You can simply SSH back in and reattach to those terminals. Tmux doesn't have to just protect you from accidental disconnections. You can use Tmux to start long running jobs on a remote system, then disconnect and come back later to see the results or even scroll back through the output of each of those terminal sessions. So that way you don't miss anything while you're gone. For example, let's say you're working from your laptop in the airport and you have to board your flight in the next few minutes, meaning you have to close your laptop and disconnect from the internet. Normally, if you wanted to start a command on a remote system that would take more than the time you can stay connected, then you would be out of luck as that command would get terminated when you disconnect. However, with Tmux, you can start the command, board your flight, and when you're back on the network again, see the results of your command, knowing it had run while you were away. Let's get started with some examples. Now, the simplest way to use Tmux is to simply type the Tmux command and hit enter. This starts a new Tmux session with a single window or single terminal session inside of Tmux and displays a status line at the bottom of the screen. The status line displays the session name, which in this case is zero. You'll learn how to name your session something more useful in just a minute. Next, you'll see a list of windows. In this case, we only have one window represented by zero colon bash asterisk, with zero being the window's index, bash being the window's name, and the asterisk representing that it is the current window. On the right hand side of the status bar, you'll see the host name, time, and date. From here, you can run any commands like you would in any other terminal. For example, I can run uptime, let's say. When the last window, or terminal if you will, that Tmux is controlling closes, Tmux exits and deletes the session. Since we only have one window slash terminal that Tmux is controlling, when we type exit here, it exits that window and thus exits Tmux as well. Now you can see the message from Tmux that says it has exited. If you want to give your session a meaningful name, then run Tmux new dash s followed by the session name. For example, let's say we want to call this session backups because we are going to use it to manually run some backups. This way, if we have multiple Tmux sessions, we'll know the one named backups as well for backups. By the way, new is actually short for new dash session. So if you see Tmux new dash session, it's the exact same thing as Tmux new. If you look at the man page for Tmux, you'll see that new is actually an alias or a shortcut for new dash session. Now you'll notice that the session name is backups in the status line. Again, you can start using this terminal like you would any other terminal. For fun, I'm just going to run this command. Hi from the first window. Let's pretend we want to run a backup command for multiple servers, so we want a new window or new terminal for each one of them. To create a new window, type Control B, C. So what you do is hold down the Control key, then type B, then release the Control key, and finally type C. Control B is known as a prefix key in Tmux. When you want to run a Tmux command, such as creating a new window, switching between windows, detaching from a session, etc., you'll start out by typing Control B. In the status line, you'll now see that we have two windows, zero colon bash and one colon bash. The asterisk beside one colon bash means that anything we type will be sent to this window with an index of one. I'm just going to run a simple command in this terminal as well. If we type control B, C again, we'll have three windows. To switch to the next window, use control B followed by N. 
If you are controlling the last window or the last window has your focus, then the next window will wrap around to the first window, which is exactly what has happened here. And you can tell that we're in the first window because the asterisk is next to zero colon bash. Using control B in again brings us to window two. To switch to the previous window, it's control B P. Now we're back to controlling the first window. If you want to jump to a specific window, you can use its index. So to go to what I've been calling window three, use control B2 because two is the index of that window. The windows are zero index, so the first window is index zero, the second window is index one, the third window is index two, and so on. You'll notice that all the windows are named bash. By default, Tmux names a new window based on the shell that is launched. It also dynamically changes the window's name based on the program that is currently running. For example, if I run HTOP, the window name will change to HTOP. Let's check that out. You'll see the window name change in the status line. Now I'll stop HTOP by pressing Q. And after a few seconds, Tmux will detect I'm back at the bash prompt and update the window name accordingly. Now, if you want to set an exact name for a window, you can do so with control B comma. You'll be prompted to enter a name. It has the current name populated, so I'm going to backspace over the current name and type in web for the new name because I plan to run a manual backup for the web server in this window. Now, when I look at my list of windows, I know which one I designated for the web server backup. Of course, this is only a contrived example and you can use any name or any naming scheme that works for you and your workflow. And that includes keeping the default names. Again, when you're done with a window or terminal, exit out of it like you would any other terminal by typing exit. Now the status line is updated and it shows only the remaining windows. I'm going to generate some ongoing text to demonstrate that the processes continue to run in the background while you are disconnected from Tmux. So this is just a little bit of code that simply prints the number of seconds since January 1st, 1970. First, I'm going to create an infinite loop by using while true. We need the keyword do. And now what we're going to do is print the date with the format of S, which is seconds since January 1st, 1970. And we'll wait a second by using sleep one. And that should continually update our screen. So I'll type done to finish our little loop and hit enter. To detach from a session, type control B D. So now you can see the message from Tmux says detached from the session named backups. This is telling us that the session is still there and that the terminal windows in that session are still running. To attach or reattach to the most recent Tmux session, use Tmux A. A is short for attach dash session. Some people also use attach, so tmux a, tmux attach, and tmux attach dash session are all the same command. I just wanted to let you know that just in case you see those other forms of the attach session command. Now we're back where we left off, and as you can see, our little program is still running in the background. Now that we're connected to our session, we can resume working. For example, let's say we want to switch to the other window. And we can do that by typing control B N. Okay, that moves us to the next window. And we can get back to the previous window again with control B P. And again, our little program is still running in the background just fine. Now, if we need or want to disconnect again, leaving everything running, type control B D for detach. Let's start another session and let's call this one coding because let's pretend we're going to compile a program that can take a long time to compile. Now we're in a new Tmux session named coding with one window. Let's detach from this session and let it run in the background by typing control B followed by D. So now we have multiple sessions that are running in the background that we can attach to. But let's say we created these sessions on a Friday and we've had a long weekend and we just can't remember what we named them. Well, the good news is that you can list the available sessions with tmux space ls. ls is a shortcut for list dash sessions. I think ls is easier to remember, but some people prefer to use the long name of list dash sessions, but use whatever works for you as they are the exact same command. 
Now we see our two sessions, one named backups with two windows and the other named coding with one window. Let's say we want to attach to our backup session. To do that, we would use tmux a-t and the name of the target session we want to attach to. If you just run tmux a, you'll be connected to the most recently used tmux session. If you want to specify the session, then use dash t followed by the session name. Again, here we are attaching to a session named backups. As you can see, everything has continued to run while we're away. You can also switch between sessions by using control B followed by S. This brings up a list of sessions. So instead of specifying a session name to attach to with tmux a-t followed by the session name, you could simply run tmux space a, and if you are connected to a different session than you want to be connected to, then you could use control bs to choose the correct session. Here I'll select the other session by hitting the down arrow and then pressing enter. Now we're connected to that session and can resume our work here. By the way, if you want to see all the key bindings you can use, type control B followed by a question mark. You'll find many other helpful commands that we didn't cover here today. Again, this video, this lesson is only the basics. Press the spacebar to continue down the list and type Q to exit from the list and return back to your tmux window. Of course, the tmux band page is invaluable. If I can't find what I'm looking for with control B question mark, I'll run man tmux from the command line and search for what I'm looking for. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. In it, you learn the basics of tmux, including how to create new tmux sessions, creating multiple windows within a tmux session and navigating between those, detaching from a session, how to list the available tmux sessions, and finally, how to attach to an existing tmux session.